Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is what's called um, combinations of different functions. And what I have on the board is two functions. That is, I don't know if you can see it, well, it's f of x equals x squared plus 2 and g of x equals x minus 2, and you're asked to find, okay, what is the function, you know, f plus g, and b is f minus g, c is just fg or f times g, and d is f divided by g. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do these ones on your own. All right, with something like this, combinations is really straightforward. So the first one is f plus g. So you have f plus g. I'm going to write the notation, full notation. And what that means is you're adding the two functions together. So that equals f of x plus g of x. And so what you do then is just you do substitution. So you take your f of x, which is this right here, and replace it with this. So it's x squared plus 2 plus this guy right here, plus x squared minus 2. Then what you do next is you simply combine like terms. So this would be x squared. These x's cancel out. So it's just plus x. And that's it for letter A. So let me erase this. And as we get further down, the board's going to get fuller. So this is f plus g of x equals x squared plus x. Similarly, you do the same thing when you subtract. So you have, moving on to b, the functions, and you're subtracting them. And that is, ah, it's going to write g. It's an f. So f of x minus g of x. Now, when you're doing, uh, when there's a minus sign there, you want to be careful of the minus sign. So when you do the substitution, you don't have to put the f in parentheses, but you do want to put the g function in parentheses. So x squared plus 2 minus parentheses x minus 2. If you forget the parentheses, it's going to completely change the problem. And you don't want to do that. So then you want to distribute the negative sign. You just want to simplify. So it's x squared plus 2 minus x plus 2. Remember, it's minus minus. So it's like a negative times a negative, which gives you a positive. Right. So then you simplify this. You get x squared minus x plus 4. Now I'm going to write this here. So I get x squared minus x plus 4. All right, next you want to multiply the two functions. If you have a closed dot or like that over there, that means multiplication. Right? Remember, this is a notation, all these are notations. But when you have a function right next to another function, just like when you have a variable right next to another variable, it means multiplication. So you're taking f of x and you're multiplying it by g of x. Again, notice the um, closed dot. If it's an open dot, 
that means you're not doing combinations, but you're doing composite functions. And you don't want to get the two confused. So then what you do is just simply plug it in. So then you have x squared plus 2. And remember how we did the subtraction, we used parentheses. Use parentheses here too. x minus 2. So then it becomes a foiling problem, right? Or um, when you multiply two polynomials, you use the distributive property. So it would be x squared times x, x squared times a negative 2. So that's x cubed minus 2x squared. Then you take the 2 and you distribute it. So 2 times x is just 2x. And then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So that's what we get here. So let me erase this. So I'm going to rewrite here. So the multiplying of the functions gives you x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 4. Now the last one is very easy. For the last one, it's just dividing. So I'm just going to write it in one line. So you have d, which is f over g of x equals f of x over g of x. You're dividing. So then you just do substitution. Here you get uh, x squared plus 2 over x minus 2. And that's it. If you were to simplify, you know, if you're able to simplify, you would want to simplify it. But here you can't simplify it. So you just leave it as is. And that's it.